I'm Wayne Foster, I volunteer for the Sunshine Coast Turtle Care Program. So each day during the turtle season we uh, hop in the boat and then we'll come over to Bribey Island, uh, the northern tip. There's five kilometre stretch between the Bribey Fort and Bullcock Beach and we'll walk that each day. It's uh, very rewarding. My name's Sherida Holford. I've been a citizen scientist working with Coolum and North Shore Coast Care since 2007. So this is our 14th season that we've been actively monitoring the nest. Lee, myself and another two girls were given training where we learned how to tag turtles, relocate nests, uh, and then at the end of the season we learned how to dig nests and collect data from the nests that we were digging. We would only ever relocate a nest if we felt that um, it was going to be eroded by um, big waves, king tides, or there was a light issue with the nest. And we don't relocate our nest lightly, we really think about it, but because um, we like to leave it in situ where the mum has put it, but sometimes that's not possible for the survival of the, the clutch. After the hatchlings have emerged, we dig the nest roughly three days afterwards. We count how many empty shells are in that chamber, we count how many uh, undeveloped eggs are in there and how many unhatched are in there and if any of them have been predated. So that one is unhatched, it's got the little eyes right at the end, but that embryonic development has arrested fairly early on, so that's classed as unhatched. Our biggest issue on the coast at the moment is development and ambient light that sits behind the beaches, so we actively talk to people about this, we ask people to turn off lights on the escarpments where we know we've got nests every season. We need to be um, proactive with keeping our beaches dark so when the mamas come back in 30 years time they've got a beach to lay on that's not lit up like a Christmas tree. We went to Mon Repos in 2019. We experienced a lot of different sort of phases of the turtle laying nests, emergences, relocation of nests. We got involved with some of the new innovations as far as trying to improve the success rate of the turtles. Uh, basically we're doing a nest dig and the overall aim is to look at the success of the nest in terms of the number of hatchlings that have got to the sea. Um, so we're collecting scientific data, which will help um, form policy work in the future. When you join a volunteer group like this, there's 100% dedication by everyone who joins it. When the hatchling leaves our waters to go out into the deep blue, uh, they don't return to lay their eggs until they're 29 or 30 years old. Um, so this is why we need to invest so much time and energy. It's really important for us to get the younger generation involved. Yeah.